you thought we were done? No, we are not done talking about indoor football, arena football, you know, the second ring cousin of the gridiron game. Um, <clears throat> so what about those AFL assets? You know, I remember a video way back in October that I did talking about the demise of the AFL and it seems that somebody has bought up some of the Baltimore Brigade, Brig, ugh, Brigade's um, assets as I'm looking here um, at my sources this is from a discord server that I'm in um, so <clears throat> bear with me I don't really do a, too much digging around um, for this but I don't know this seems to be legit um, <clears throat> um, so Absolute Arena there's a little poster here that I have uh, it says that Baltimore, Albany Atlantic City, Philadelphia Nashville and Huntsville, Alabama I don't know how Huntsville is going to fit in all this but um, <clears throat> it seems that there could be some sort of comeback I don't I don't I don't think it makes any sense, but um, at least Huntsville, and that's what most of my um, that's what most of my new Discord friends are thinking as well. It doesn't really make any sense. But that's okay. Um, not showing up on the screen, but I don't have that type of software right now, so shut up. <laughs> but uh, there is um, some other news going on here. And it is about the Massachusetts Pirates. Remember, um, way back when, I believe it was around October or something like that, too. Um, I don't remember when exactly when it was, but Massachusetts was like, okay, we're gonna bolt from the NAL. We're gonna go on somewhere. We're gonna do some. We're gonna do our own thing. We're either gonna go um, to the American Arena League or something like that. We're gonna do our own thing. Well, now there's an article uh, with the owner. Um, Mr. Jawad Yatim, I believe that's how you say his name. I've got, I probably got it wrong like three or four times. Every time I break his name up, I've gotten it wrong. There was an interesting, you know, sort of thing that, and it, it was an interesting sort of thing that came up. It's like, hey, um, you don't want to play with the inferior, you know, um, with the inferior CIF and. And remember, that was the reason why they left the first time. It didn't have to come back because of the merger, the whole merger thing that wasn't going to work out. Um, and it was really just desperation on the NAL's part, mostly. Um, but now, there's another comment that he had, that Massachusetts owner had in this article that I will also not bring up because, I mean, you can go find it yourself. Um, but it seems that their time, considering, you know, hey, he said that they were free agents, that Massachusetts was a free agent, which means they could be going somewhere next year, maybe, maybe not in the NAL anymore because of the old, you know, because indoor football is a little bit weird considering, you know, there's contracts and everything for teams to stick around for however many number of years instead of, you know, like, actually being like a legit thing <clears throat> you know like oh well here's you know Green Bay you know owners have been here for like I don't know let's talk about the Packers anyway not not the uh, the Blizzard oh here's Green Bay here's Lambo you know the guys that own Lambo and Green Bay and all that stuff you know hey they're just gonna be here forever until somebody else takes it over <clears throat> Or even even closer here in my local area, as you know, we have Jerry Jones, the the forever eternal Jerry Jones, who will probably not be giving up ownership in his lifetime. But yeah, things are a little bit different down in the arena foot in the arena football circles, and it could be that Massachusetts could find someplace else to go. Or they could come on back to the NAL. 
Um, but other than that, <laughs> I don't know. Um, it seems that all the other teams in the league that probably have the same situation going on, at least um, Jacksonville, at least, probably is... Well, Jacksonville is kind of the ba- backbone of the NAL anyway, due to all the money they, due to all the money that they bring in, kind of like Arizona in the IFL now. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been... um, and one more thing to bring up here is the um, Columbus, poor Columbus, oh Columbus, they are going to postpone. Until what 2022, I believe. Um, they just right off the bat, the Germain said, "Hey, we're not doing this. We're gonna focus on Frisco. Um, we'll, we'll see what Columbus has in store for 2022. Obviously, the virus is still going around and not getting any better by the day, of course. Um, so we'll see." We'll see what happens there, I guess. But uh, <clears throat> IFL shouldn't have even expanded that quickly anyway. And I think we, I think we all know it that they shouldn't have expanded that quickly. But they did it anyway. And you know, the thirteen teams that are still here are probably going to be back next year. Who knows? Again, we don't know. Um, and it also depends on how this virus is going to shake up because here in the United States, things are not looking too pretty, not looking too pretty at all. Um, and it needs to, and it needs to get a little bit better. Please, how many times do I have to put on this mask at the end of every video to tell you to wear a mask? Please wear a mask. Please use some common sense. You know, this is common sense. Also, drink water. Um, not sponsored by Avion, but I got an Avion bottle right here. Um, drunk the whole thing in yeah, about 20 minutes flat. Drink some, drink some water if you're in a hot, hot area like, you know, DFW, where I am right now. Well, close to DFW anyway. Um, you know, drink some water. Stay hydrated. You know, I got about five or six Gatorade bottles on the ground here. And stick around because we got another video here coming for you very, very shortly here on the channel so subscribe like share do all that good stuff um, come on down to big boy variety this will be the last month that we're in this room um, I am moving next month so we will have a new layout very shortly I will we'll have to do like a little room tour or something like that and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun time I'm trying to figure out you know a lot of things as well um, Please support my blog. Just go, just go ahead. It's in, it's in the about section of my channel. Just go ahead, get a couple of reads in. Um, I should be doing something for the blog at some point, um, either today or tomorrow. I don't know when, because it's a, it's a weekend. I don't really do stuff on the weekends anyway. I haven't really been doing stuff since this virus started, so that's that's something. Um, but yeah. We're going to see you guys in a few minutes with some more um, sports news.